I feel like Christians must think that the entrance exam to get into atheism is grueling as hell, right? Because the second you tell them you're an atheist, they expect you to be an expert on every single subject that ever earned its own ology. I was recently on the Sunday show with Matt Dillahunty. We were talking about this phenomenon, and this is how it goes. They're, you're like, oh, I don't believe in God. They're like, oh, you don't believe in God, huh? So where does the universe come from? So yeah, man, thanks for for keeping your ask so manageable, but okay, all right, now I got to go, I, I got to learn about cosmology to justify my atheism. That's all right. I'm interested in space shit anyway. Let me go do that. Then you come back, and it's like, oh, you don't believe in God, so you, so you think we came from monkeys. All right, well, now I got to add biology, apparently. And, and, I, and if I want to have a meaningful conversation with the guy who issued this challenge, I'm also going to have to learn about pseudobiology, right, so that I'm prepared to refute the kind of obscure bullshit that folks like Ken Ham arm their followers with. And then it's, oh, you don't believe in God. Well, how do you explain this layer of sediment in the earth if it's billions of years old? So we add geology. And then how do you explain this account in the Bible? So we add, we got to add ancient history. And what about this biblical prophecy that clearly predicted this modern event? So we got to add textual criticism. And then where do you get your morals from? So we add ethical philosophy. And then where do you get meaning from? So we add all the other philosophy. And then how, how do you explain this experience that my cousin says she had when she was 14 years old? And you're like, for fuck's sake, I've already got two full course loads here. But here's the thing, as I'm sure you're already aware, there is no entrance exam for atheism, and we're not obligated to know about any of that shit. As atheists, we're not making any claims about any of that stuff other than, I don't think it was God. When somebody asks you, where did the universe come from? The only answer you owe them as an atheist from a logical perspective is, well, not a magical ghost. When they ask where humans come from, the only answer you owe them is not dust. And that's assuming you owe them any answer at all, which, given how frequently we encounter these questions in bad faith, is a mighty big assumption. Now, of course, it's not always a deliberate obfuscation. Sometimes it is. William Lane Craig famously tries to debate history with philosophy experts, science with history experts, and philosophy with science experts. But more often than not, those are just the questions that first occur to the theist to ask you. After all, for most believers, their religion underpins everything in their lives. I don't know anybody who would say that about their atheism. Like I, I record multiple shows every week about atheism. I have for a decade. I attend atheist conventions. I have a drawer full of atheist t-shirts. I've written three books about atheism. And even I wouldn't reserve as high a place in my day-to-day -day life for atheism as the, even like the average lukewarm Christian would for God. See, for an awful lot of incurious religious folks, the answer to every question is God did it. When they reach the end of their intellectual curiosity, which is often a mighty short road with these folks, there's a sign there that just says God did it. So before they can even consider your worldview, they need a replacement answer for pretty much every fucking question that there is. Their indiscriminate prance through the course catalog seems perfectly logical if you consider it from that admittedly already illogical perspective. But that still doesn't mean that you owe them polymathery. I know I get sucked into these kind of arguments constantly because I'm actually interested in cosmology, biology, ancient history, philosophy, et cetera. And I also get that I'm very often asked these questions with perfect sincerity. So I start to feel like my ability to sell evolution or the Big Bang might actually be the difference between someone becoming an atheist or maintaining the voluntary yoke of religion. The pressure's on, right? But in truth, most of the time... I'd probably be better off sending them to an expert in whatever field they're asking about and instead simply emphasizing the fact that God isn't a beauty pageant runner-up who gets to step in if the Big Bang is unable to fulfill its duties as a theory of cosmogenesis. And sure, it's a source of constant frustration for vocal atheists being called upon to know a dozen disparate subjects per argument, especially because there doesn't seem to be any corresponding obligation on the part of the theist who keeps bringing them up. But it's also a great way to highlight just how many academic subjects religious thinking is out of line with. And if we can make our interlocutors see that, it'll probably be way more impactful than any specific question we might answer for them about natural selection.